Five, four, three, two, one. Hi everyone, welcome to another video by me, the Techie Prepper. Um, a while back, I did a video where I reviewed the Big Blue uh, solar generator. It's the Big Blue Cell Power 500. It's uh, 500 uh, watts and it's a pure sign output, has USB output, um, a really good unit, but I had some problems uh, with my initial shipment. My initial unit arrived and it failed the test right out of the box. Uh, I had problems with the charging circuit. So I contacted Big Blue, they're very responsive. They sent me uh, a replacement unit and uh, it actually had firmware in it that worked, so I was very happy about that. And it's been a solid unit ever since then. Um, I use it occasionally, uh, and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, uh, don't make any money off them, but uh, I can tell you that after a thorough testing and, and usage of this for several months, it's a really good unit, and it's at a good price point um, when this video was made. So, let me show you a little bit about this. Uh, as I mentioned, it was free, uh, which was nice. Uh, it was a nice uh, customer service touch that they actually sent this to me um, because I had an issue with the initial solar generator that they sent me. It's very nice. As you can see, it's rated at 100 watts. Uh, it's got a nice um, textile backing here. It's, it's really nice. Um, and it's got fold-out legs. I'm going to go ahead and do this sideways if we have enough room here. The legs actually snap into place so they don't flop around, which is a really nice touch. And they also have this little, uh, it's a uh, little elastic, um, which kind of holds it in place. And when you put it down, it only allows it to go out so far. So it won't fall down flat, which is a nice touch too. Let me see if I can get it to stand up. So as you can see, um, it, it, it sits on the stands really nicely when it, it's flat. You'll see that in the video in a minute when I take it out to the driveway and actually show you what I can do. Um, and then you snap it back into place. It folds up. The connectors are nice. They come with little caps. Um, it does have a little bit of a strain relief right here on this portion of the cord that's connected to the actual panels, the output. That's uh, a little bit of a concern for me. If you're rough with it, it might be an issue down the road. Um, but they did kind of go the extra mile on this with the features. So the connectors, let me undo this to show you. So you see they come, they have little caps on them. And what you do is you take this, put the connectors together. So you can see that. Hard to do upside down. There we go. So you put the connectors together and this goes. into the front here, the charging circuit. And uh, like I said, it's rated at 100 watts, uh, you know, with inefficiencies and that type of thing. With solar panels, you're lucky to get maybe 80, 85 out of it. Um, and that's about what I got, spoiler alert. So what I'm gonna do is take this out and I'm gonna test it for you. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because my philosophy when it comes to these portable power packs slash solar generators is I want to be able to use my unit overnight, uh, wear it down to practically a zero percentage uh, capacity, and then be able to charge it up over a day. If you can't charge it up to full or close to full um, the next day after you deplete it, you know, it loses some of its value. So it's very important to me to be able to fill it up. So. Um, let's go test it out and see how this whole thing works as a package. Okay, so here we are for our practical test of the Solar Power 100 portable solar panel. What I'm going to do is charge it up using this during the day and I'll have to probably adjust it several times to track the sun. But once again, our goal is to ensure that this uh, panel can be uh, you know unfolded, laid out, and uh, you can actually charge up the Big Blue Solar Power 500 
537 watt hour uh, battery pack or solar generator within a day. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we're getting uh, at nine o'clock in the morning. Hopefully you can see the battery is at, I'll try to get it there a little better. Battery is at 3%. Uh, it's estimating 8.2 hours or 8.1 hours till full. And we're getting 63 watts at 9 o'clock, 64 watts at 9 o'clock in the morning. I expect that to go up. It typically goes uh, up to about 80 watts in good sun. So I will check back. It's 9.05 right now. I'll check back about 10 o'clock to see what progress we've made. Okay, so it's been a little over an hour. Coming out, you see it's 10.05 in the morning. Oh, it's tough to see. Oh, there we go. All right, that's a little better. I guess the uh, LCD goes into kind of a rest mode, uh, lower power when you're charging. Uh, after a while, it shuts, shuts itself down a little bit to conserve some energy, which is good. So we're at 16% now. We're getting 73 watts um, from the panel at 10 a.m. And it estimates we have 6.3 hours left to go to a full charge. Okay, so here we are after our second full hour of charging. You can see it is, oh, there's a wicked glare here. Let's see, it's 11.03. And um, you can see we are at 28% charging, um, 5.1 hours approximately. Uh, calculated until full and we're getting 76 watts so um, I expect we'll hit 80 to 85 um, around noonish when we hit full Sun and that should uh, stay steady for a couple hours so I'm not gonna come back every hour you can see it's 11 I'll come back after a few hours um, and let you know the progress see it's 430 so we've been out here seven and a half hours Let's see what we've got. Get that glare away from there. So we charged up to 88%, which means we've filled it 85% of capacity today because we started at 3%. So that's not too bad. Um, it's partially my fault we didn't make it to 100% because I started at 9 o'clock and I had two hours of sun prior to that, which probably could have put another uh, 50 to 60 watts uh, into the pack um, and uh, there's still sun here that I could uh, catch maybe if I went on my roof or something but uh, you know I don't feel it's necessary to do that so as I showed you I was able to charge it up to 88% using this um, with not much of an issue I, I turned it once or twice to orient it towards the Sun to maximize the uh, output uh, and then I just kind of let it go the rest of the day it was part of the cloudy day um, it wasn't a bad day, but like I said, it was winter and it was short, and it still got up to 88%. So um, the actual panel hit about 82 watts, which is right where I expected, so not bad. Um, and uh, I think with a little more effort uh, on my part to either get out there earlier in the day um, or to optimize it you know, every hour to go out and actually change the orientation of the panel towards the sun, I think, you know, on a typical day, you can get back up to 100%, which is right where I want to be at. Um, so, you know, my thoughts on this package as a whole is um, it's going to work fine for me, and I, I recommend it. Um, as long as you get a good one, uh, like I said, I had problems with this, uh, my original shipment. It just, it was, it was broken. There's no other way to say it. But their customer service was awesome. Sent me a new unit. Sent me this as kind of a makeup gift. And, um, you know, I'm happy with it. So if you uh, enjoyed this video, learned something, um, please like the video, subscribe to my channel so you'll know when I have a new video coming out. And uh, most importantly, as I always say, if you know anybody that can use this information that I've given you today, um, look in the market for one or, or just wanna know what they're all about, then please share the video and uh, hopefully we can help some people. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for being patient on this video. It took me a while, I lost some files. So um, I appreciate your patience and uh, see you next time. Thanks.